right, here we go. Let's see if this works. I am playing, of course, the classic Super Mario Brothers. This is the game that pretty much everybody from, well, 1985 when it came out until, I guess, the Super Nintendo came out in 1990 or 1991, so pretty much anywhere in between. If you grew up in that era, you played this game. And to this day, I like this kind of game more than I do modern video games. I really don't care about Grand Theft Auto and Call, uh, Call of Duty and all of that stuff. This is fun to me. I like these kinds of games. And, you know, Nintendo still makes them, and God bless them for doing so. Alright. So, I think everybody pretty much knows the plot by now. It's, uh, Mario is a plumber. And he got sucked down a drain into a magical world called the Mushroom Kingdom. And he has to save a princess, Princess Toadstool, uh, now known as Princess Peach, from a dragon monster called Bowser and his troop of turtles called the Koopas. So, and there are also bastards like these guys called Goombas, which you'll see in a second. Basically, Mario has three modes in this game. This is the first... Super Mario Brothers game as we know it. There was one called Mario Brothers that was uh, an arcade game, but this one is, is the first of the series that we know and love. Mario, um, here we go, boing, boing, uh, has, has basically three modes. There's Small Mario, or Regular Mario, and then there's Super Mario, when he eats a mushroom, and then there's Fire Mario, when he eats a fire flower, and that's what I have right now. Fire Flower allows him to spit fireballs. Oh yeah, and then we've got the star. The star makes you invincible. And not only that, you kill anything you run into. Collecting coins, of course, if you collect a hundred at a time, it gives you an extra life. As do these other mushrooms that also give you an extra life. And, as you can see, it's pretty generous with both in the very early levels. Now, as you get onward, there are, there are eight worlds comprised of about four levels each. And it gets harder as you go along. Now, there are things called warp zones, which I was going to show you until I just jumped off a cliff right there, uh, that can get you to a world further ahead. But... I'm going to try to play the whole game through. Just because it's kind of rewarding to do that. And it's very hard in this original NES version because you can't save your game and go back if you run out of lives. In the later Super Nintendo reissue, they did a an update on the graphics and it looked and sounded awesome and all that, but you could save and that was great. But it kind of took away some of the challenge. I died once, but I got, what, three new lives? So, I'm okay. I'll be alright. I'll live. I'll survive. Oh, no, not I. I will survive. Alright. Now, these are Goombas. Like I said, they're, they're evil mushrooms, essentially. Evil, sentient mushrooms. And... In the original story, or at least there was a, a comic book or a coloring book or something like that I had when I was a kid, and explained that Goombas were good mushroom people, like they were they were like the toads, the uh, the helpful nice mushroom people, but they turned evil, and so they kind of turned more mushroom than man. And I always kind of thought they were pretty cool looking. They're they're like little crabs almost. Now this is going to be the first of eight castles. Where you fight Bowser, or what you think is Bowser. And it's really just, uh, just a, a creature disguised as Bowser uh, who's kidnapped one of the toads. Anyway. 
All you got to do in this one is dodge these uh, fire sticks. Not to be confused with the fire stick we know today from, like, Amazon, where you watch uh, TV shows. <laughs> okay. All right, this guy's been eating at Taco Bell. And he's dead. Thank you, Mario. But our princess is in another castle. Of course she is. We know that. So here is World 2. Um... These early levels, like I say, are very generous with the power-ups, with the flowers and the mushrooms, and I think there's an extra life right here, maybe. No? No. Whatever. Not necessary right now. I've got fire, and I'm happy with it. Ha! <laughs> Alright, more fire. And extra life through coins. Oh, it's on now. There we go. Oh yeah, those uh, those things in the pipes there. Those are called piranha plants. Um, they, you know, this is their first appearance, but they're in pretty much every Mario game. I think they might have even been in Mario 2, the weird one. I'm not sure, but I forget. But there's some variation of one in there. Um. Basically, they're giant Venus fly traps. There's something in this one. No. No. All right. They're about to throw a curveball at us here because this next level is a water level, and I've always hated these. And you'll see why in a second. Go on to the pipe here. Yeah. I always like the kind of old looking bricks with the algae growing all over them. And then the little the little corals going on here. This was pretty advanced stuff for 8-bit video games in the 80s. I mean, this, this looks pretty cool. And they made it look even cooler for uh, the next Mario game, which was Mario 2, which was kind of a weird... It was like a weird port of another game from Japan, because I thought it would be too hard for American players. The original Mario 2 looked a lot like this one, but it was pretty much the same thing, but harder, and they got bored with it, so... Alright. Or they thought Americans would get bored with it, so they took another game called, uh... Something like Doki Panic, I think it was called, with a bunch of Arabian characters. And they built a dream world out of it. And they called it Mario 2, the land of land of Subcon. It was all Mario's dream. Right now, this level I could call Mario's Fish Fry right now, because I'm just torching these fish. Because I don't like them. And there's a later level, I think in fact the next level, where these fish jump out and fly at you. On land. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all want to come to Mario Fish Fry? Oh, yeah. Cajun Fish Fry. Huh. Oh, yeah. Alright. I guess Mario's Italian, so it'd be come to Mario's Italian Fish Fry. That's a spicy meatball. Oh yeah, Mario number one. Hoo -hoo. All right. Yeah, here we go. This is the one with the. Oh boy. Now in this one, I like to keep. Mario can only spit uh, two fireballs at a time, and I like to keep them kind of rolling ahead of me as I go, so that if one of these fish decides to reverse course and jump in front of me like that. Um, I can catch myself, kill him. Oh, shit. Or that'll happen, and I'll just overshoot my jump and 
fall off the bridge. But that was the midway point anyway, so I should be okay. And if I collect, keep collecting the coins, I can probably get that life back here very soon. I'm at, what, 65 coins, so in the next level or two I'll be all right. And I lost my flower power, but I made it through that one. So now I'm on this 2-3, so this will be world 2-4. This will be the second castle.